Hi, I'm Bryce. This is my 2020 Sprinter. It's a 2500 144 high roof. I uh, purchased it uh, new and it was a bare bones cargo van when I picked it up. Only option in it is the LED headlight option and other than that it's pretty uh, it was pretty basic. Um, I started building it uh, back in August of 2020. Um, almost four years into the build. It's been a little bit at a time. Started with a lot of the inside before I started moving to suspension because I wanted to get a, a good handle on where my weight was going to be. So when I did my suspension, I could hopefully do it once, maybe twice. <laughs> <laughs> to get it to where I wanted, but uh, uh, that's uh, that's the, how I started with this. You know, I go up into the mountains. I do a lot of desert, though. I'd say most of my stuff uh, travels are in the desert. Baja, uh, out here the high desert. Uh, we go out quite a bit, ride dirt bikes, uh, you know, the dirt toys and stuff. So it uh, it's gets me to where I want to go and into places sometimes I shouldn't have gone. He's my whole life I've been uh, out here in the desert. So I'm 70 now. So I got at least 50 years out here in the Southern California deserts and uh, also down in Baja in Mexico. We, as kids, we go down there and surf all the time, take our dad's motor home. They'd always say, where are you going? Oh, we're just going down to San Clemente to go surfing. Do not go to Mexico. <laughs> and that'd be the first place we'd go. <laughs> you know, the suspension is really key to the way the uh, vehicle handles, not only off-road, but also on the road, on the highway and stuff, because there's situations where people cut in front of you and you have to react quickly and the last thing you want is to uh, oversteer and then cause a situation where the van offloads and it rolls to the point where uh, you know you lose contact, your tires are losing contact with the ground and you're no longer in control. So you know it's very important to have uh, to be sure-footed with these, especially if you got weight in them and then your loved ones. As a note, I've been in professional motorsports for over 50 years. I've used JRZ, Olens, Bilstein, Fox, uh, shoot, you name it. I pretty much run them. Kings. Uh, Kings always my favorite. Hey, I even ran Ranchos, okay? <laughs> so, so, I can tell you, I've been around on these shocks out in the desert and uh, nothing ever has come close. I started out with uh, with the Van Compass uh, 4.3, uh, and what what I noticed was uh, it was a vast improvement over stock. It had uh, the 4.3 is their 3.3 fast adjust shocks with uh, with some sumo bump stops and a add a leaf and. Uh, what first happened for me was the uh, the Ada leaf became uh, uh, insufficient for the weight of my vehicle because I got a lot of stuff hanging off the uh, on the back side of the axle, which really isn't where you want to put a load. But fortunately, that's where I got it. Uh, I'm also got three 24 gallon tanks of water, so I'm almost 600 pounds of water when I'm full which is water weight and so it uh, even without water just a 24 gallon inside tank uh, full it would still squat you know even though I was okay with the Van Compass solution because that was a big step over the factory stock stuff but as big as that step was over stock was the same Kings over the over the Van Compass. The Van Compass uh, shocks were uh, they soaked up the uh, the hits pretty good, but I still had quite a bit of body roll, 
not quite a bit, but it would depend on the type of uh, driving I was doing. If I was really leaning into a turn and I hit a bump, uh, that was an issue with the uh, with the Falcons. Uh, at that point in time, I was still running the front uh, shock, uh, stock shock strut. So I ended up, uh, uh, I got uh, from John, I got the Coney with the coilover, and I put that on. Uh, I'm running a, uh, a CA tuned front bumper with a uh, a Xeon 12S uh, worn winch, so got a little weight up front over the front tires. So uh, I added that to just hopefully balance out the way that uh, the vehicle felt. It was a little bouncy, uh, but it definitely was an improvement over the stock shock. It's different with the Kings. You can be pushed, you can be pushing that shock way over and hit a pothole or hit something and it will just soak it up and you'll just keep going like nothing just happened. You'll hear some noise, but it won't, uh, it won't uh, jerk the van. It won't uh, cause any kind of, uh, you know, uh, feedback on the steering wheel that's gonna cause you uh, an issue. I love that about the Kings. The Kings are, uh, they're just, you know, hard to explain. And I, a lot of people have said, well, you know, you can't compare a Kings on a Toyota and Kings on a, uh, you know, on a Ford, you know, to the Kings on a Sprinter. And, you know, the truth is, the shock either performs or it doesn't. And if it's actually, manufactured properly for its uh, application then you're going to get that same famous ride that you're used to across any application and that's what I found to be true with these uh, it was what I was going to it was what I expected to get and a little bit more to be honest with you because even walking around in the van when it's parked there is no longer any kind of bounce no longer any kind of uh, you know stuff moving around because of me walking around in the van and that's not because I have the uh, the valves twisted all the way firm to the contrary I I barely have them uh, clicked up at all to be honest with you I got 10 clicks uh, on the uh, struts and on the rear shocks and I'm running five clicks on the auxiliary so you know, out of 30 something clicks, I'm not really there. <laughs> so, so there's, there's more room to be had, but this is where, for the weight of my van, I'm almost uh, 8,900 pounds when I carry, uh, I carry 72 gallons of fresh water, which is sort of unheard of in this size van. I got three 24 gallon tanks, plus all the crap on the back and, and I have the ability to add an additional 14 gallons of, uh, I got rotor pack uh, tanks that still some that haven't been installed yet that will gain me an extra uh, 14 gallons of diesel. So, you know, I ended up, uh, I ended up doing it a piece at a time, uh, to be honest with you. I uh, did the front struts first because uh, I was really, uh, want to I thought I was satisfied with the with the van compass and I just wanted to get that strut up front replaced with something that was uh, doable or better um, and then once I did that I knew I wanted to do the rears too but I had to wait and uh, get the money up for those got those put on and uh, at that point I was really, I was really thinking I was done with the suspension. That it was uh, really feeling the way I wanted it to feel. Uh, it had that awesome king ride going on it. You uh, could be leaning in a turn and hit a pothole, and it's just going to soak it up. There's not going to be any jerk in the wheel. It's just going to soak it up, and you're going to continue down the road and what I love about those shocks they're just they're hard to uh, describe because they're not like 
other shocks in the way that they perform. Um, you know, I had talked to a few other guys that had done the swap also, but we were all sort of running the auxiliary van compass shock still, and I thought that it couldn't really make that much of a difference uh, there, but since it does handle body roll, and I was feeling pretty good about the, you know, the amount of body roll that I didn't have, but I wanted everything to match. Uh, I have the ability to, to rebuild the Kings myself, and I really wanted to have that for all the shocks, uh, that ability to be able to not have to send them in and have downtime in the vehicle. Uh, I plan on living in this and traveling for a few years uh, and extensively, and I really don't or can't afford to be have the vehicle out of uh, commission for a week or two at a time because I gotta send something in to get it repaired. That's really huge too. That's a that's a big big part of uh, my decision also. But regardless, I went up to the high desert and I had uh, Lost Highway install the auxiliary shocks and uh, the Kings and uh, you know it just happened that anybody familiar with the high desert here in Southern California familiar with the Cajon Pass uh, you're familiar with high wind advisories that come across for that area and it's not uncommon to see semis toppled over from the winds in fact sometimes they'll shut down part of the highway because of it and there was a high wind warning issued and I was coming down the Cajon Pass and it was my first time experiencing the ride with full king suspension with the auxiliary shocks and I'll tell you I could feel the resistance of the wind but there was no push there was no tilt of body roll whatsoever the van just handled unbelievable I could see the cars in front of me getting pushed around semis were in the slow lane crawling because of the wind and uh, I was totally amazed uh, of the difference it was it was amazing it was something you never know what you're gonna hit out there and and it, whether it's on the road if it's a piece of debris or or you know if it's a big boulder in your way that you got to go over you know you're you want to have that confidence that you know you're not going to have a failure at that point of stress so that's a confidence you know that's i didn't have that with these other things because i didn't have the experience you know that i had uh with the kings and stuff and the ride wasn't ever really all the way there for me you know honestly with the kings i really don't have to fiddle with the settings too much i i get them to where i like them and they work pretty good on and off road i'm not really crawling a lot of the roads i go on off road or you know i do a lot of fire roads and stuff because i'm towing a trailer also and i'm just looking to get away from people and that special spot you know so i'm not really uh pushing it too hard but there are times uh yes that it does happen when i detach the trailer and go ahead to scout out other areas so there are those times but you know uh i don't really have to mess with it uh i pretty well set them the way i that they feel good and it works both on and off road for me and i like that and and it's the same feel whether it's on road or off the road which is crazy because usually you have to go make an adjustment to get that feel off road and you don't <laughs> you know if i'm going on the freeway quite a bit then yeah i'll lock them down pretty good because i know that you know i want a solid feel solid ride dude it's crazy huh it really is because that's the thing that's awesome about them too is 
once you fill that spot that's right for you because everyone's different right everyone you know and all the vehicles are different the way they're weighted where the weight's at because it's ballast weight too right so if, you know you you get that adjusted the way you like it and you're done you know you're pretty much done you know unless you know like the winds pick up and you got or something like that of that nature but yeah it's uh i love them yeah yeah everything is adjustable so you know even if i wanted a different spring rate i could go and change the front strut to a different spring you know if i decided i wanted a little uh tighter fill you know i wanted a little heavier spring up there and stuff uh, which is nice you know I like the ability I also like the ability to dial in you know because the adjustability uh, with the Coney uh, strut coilover from Agile it's uh, it's set in place so there's no adjustability there uh, and having the adjustability really you know makes you gives you the ability to really set it just the way you want it for me, with the Agile, it, ran, it rode a little high in the front. So, you know, I was always trying to compensate by not putting too much water in my spare tire tank, right? Because then it would squat and make the front end exaggerate even more, right? Or when I hook up the trailer, it would be, you know, and I was going, shit, I didn't want to put airbags in, right? I'm like, this ain't going to work. Yeah. So... So it was just, you know, it was a progression with me to find, you know, what I wanted. Uh, and it also, you know, let's face it, it comes down to money, you know, and the ability to buy a piece at a time is really nice. You know, the ability to get, you know, this part and then because you will notice a difference with just the front struts. You'll notice a huge difference. And then once the rears got added, jeez. Dude, it was night and day and and then uh, the auxiliaries were, were like the icing on the cake you know it just I, I honestly it was the biggest shocker to me in this package that it could because I honestly in my mind couldn't see how it could make a difference because it felt so good already right how's this even gonna improve and I was I was I was blown away the biggest thing for me is uh, the oil change, as I mentioned. Oil, no matter if it's in your engine, in the shocks, it, it degrades from heat, from the friction of doing its work. And, and as, that, as it ages, uh, its performance will also uh, degrade. And so the ability, you know, to be able to cool the oil and also add capacity is what's so important about these reservoirs because they they do a couple things they're they're not only increasing the capacity uh, of the volume but also uh, helps to dissipate immensely the uh, the heat with the uh, with the reservoirs with the fins and stuff so it's uh, it's important and these are placed in such a way that they get good airflow so I'm I'm very pleased uh, with uh, with these. I'm on Instagram. It's uh, Van Life for me, and then I'm also on the Sprinter Source forum, uh, B R Y O S B, and uh, you know I'm here only a little bit longer in Southern California. I'm getting ready to take off, so I'll be at the. Uh, you want to come by see the van? Uh, check this stuff out ask any questions I'll be at the adventure van expo I'll be camping there over the weekend coming up I'll also be at uh, Overland Expo West out in Flagstaff on my way to Montana so stop by say hi ask questions check it out possibly get you a ride after the event so we can you can see what we're talking about no problem with that